Hello and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. In this episode I bring you a review of this adventurous journal by Trinity Knot Studios. It's a journal for 5e players. If you are the kind of player who runs, you know, a campaign and you want to keep track of everything your character does, is this going to be worth the amount of money you have to pay to get your hands on it? I am about to show you. Welcome to the GMS Magazine RPG review videos. I am a huge fan of journals. I really, really like them because my memory is aching to a goldfish and I forget. So I tend to have a, either a journal or somebody in my group who will keep a journal or we just blast the GM with questions before we start the game because I just forget. So Trinity Not Studios, knowing that, because they know it, they have sent me a couple of these journals so I can keep track of everything I do from a 5e campaign. Is it good enough though? Let's take a look at what you can find inside. And yes, my voice is a little bit raspy. I may cough a bit. I'm kind of down with COVID at the moment. So um, sorry about that. Talking about cough. Sorry, people. COVID is ruining my makeup. Anyway journal what's inside well th this is literally a journal this is just a notebook um, and it doesn't aspire to be anything else it doesn't come with a um, soft cover or a hard cover or anything it's, 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 it's just another page and it is obvious that it's meant to be something to, to use and reuse and do lots of things with it which i like it's a very spartan kind of black and white design which is great and from the very beginning, um, firstly, you can take a look at what the uh, publishers do because they do publish other things. And then this book re recounts, yes, recounts, sorry, the life and legend of da da da, committed to paper by said, that would be your character, that would be you. I quite like this, is, this is quite, quite charming, this is quite lovely. And once we look inside, we start to see there is a very intricate design they have put into it. This is just a matter of taste. I personally like it quite a lot. There is an awful lot of it. And the only problem I see with such amount of intricacy and level of detail is that you're taking space from what truly really matters, which is keeping track of, you know, weapon armor, your tools, your portraits, so on and so forth. So it's not a bad thing. I don't, again, I don't dislike it, I like it, but I wish I could see a little bit more space around here uh, to make everything clearer to see, because what matters, what truly really matters is this, not all of that. We also get where to get uh, track of your hit points, your feature traits, uh, your saving throws, the weapon and an attacks. There's one thing missing here though, and it's distance. So if you have a bow or a different type of uh, ranged uh, weapons, you cannot track how far you can get with them in this particular page, which is a shame because everything else, it should already be there. Um, it, it lacks a bit of detail, I think. With regards of spell casting, um, there's one thing in here and I'm going to show you why I'm going to say that this needs a bit more space and it's because once we get past the party name and the inventory we get a lot of journaling space pages and pages and pages of journaling space now if you're going to this is good and it is bad all at the same time if you're going to run a long campaign for your character then having this amount of journaling space may be a very good idea because you're going to have a lot of things to report on but then all of this is not going to be big enough because you're going to have an awful lot of spells of levels 
that you're going to struggle to put in here because there isn't really an awful lot of space in here to add all the descriptions and everything. My issue with this journal is that it's not going to save you from having to look into the rule book if you need to remember anything about your spells. And that is quite important as far as I am concerned. So I think it would be a lot better if rather than seeing these many empty pages to have a whole page for spells of level one, level two, level three, level four, so on and so forth. And yeah, maybe for highest level spells have a little bit less space because you're likely to have less of those spells, but still have more for this and for your cantrips. We're likely to use an awful lot of cantrips. They deserve a little bit more space. There are a few things as well that I am missing in this journal. And these things like describing where are you going? What, what places have you been in? There isn't really a, sp a space specifically for a map that would be good to be able to complete. So although, yes, I appreciate you giving me all of this to take notes, I'm missing having a bit more structure as to what I could be um, registering and reporting throughout the campaign. So the, I think this is a great start. I really, I do like the effort put into it. I, I love the intricacy. I, I really like all that. But there's still a fair amount of room for improvement. Having this going all the way up the page would give me a lot more space, would give everybody a lot more space to write things down. And again, you have a lot of pages. Don't feel afraid to use them. Um, because even if you give me just that much to document whatever it is I, I want, I still keep a ton of pages where you can have information as your character progresses and advances. So to read it up, this is a really great first version of this, but it needs, it needs a bit more thought thrown into it from the character progression point of view and then the campaign progression point of view. You've got plenty of space. Use it. This needs a revision. It's good. You're in a very good starting point. But the second edition of this, that is going to be absolutely amazing. Trust me. But this, it's a bit short for what it's trying to do. It needs a little bit more structure. Um, thank you very much indeed for being there. Uh, I wish I could give you a super glowing review, which I do prefer to do of these kind of products. But it needs development. It needs a little bit of development. Until the next time, please let me know your comments down there. Remember to subscribe. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.